song, okay? Okay. Um, and tell him I said hello. So me, and I'm working on his, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, he's listening to you. He oh, Eric. <clears throat> you. Eric, what's up, brother? <laughs> Eric, how you doing, brother? Hey, what's up, man? Doing? doing okay, man. Good. Doing all right, brother. Doing okay. You doing okay? How's everything inside? Everything is good with you? <clears throat> Uh, no, not yet. I haven't reached out to your dad yet, but I'm, I'm in the process of reaching out to your dad. I'm just organizing uh, your file. I'm just organizing ev like all the information for, for, for your case. Look, mijo, let me, t let me tell you. I was on the phone with your dad this morning. That was his dad that I told you, Omar. Yeah. It yeah. was his dad yeah. that I was on the phone. Mijo, we, we asked him, you know, if he wants to say something, pero tu sabes, he's scared, he's afraid, and he's like, you know, I'm afraid. Yeah, he's, he's scared, and I understand. Yeah, he's scared, so he's like, you know, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing, but... You know, I'm scared. You know, I don't trust the system anymore. And, and I am, I completely understand. I completely understand. And and I explain to him, don't worry. We're here for Eric and, and everything is going to be okay. But um, he decided not to talk to, to us. So it's fine. Yeah, it's Eric, fine. Eric, it's okay. Even if your dad doesn't want to get involved, me and RG are sitting down and there are things that we're doing to make your voice heard. Okay. So yes. we're getting, we're we're filing we're filing with the Department of Justice so that way your voice is heard your complaint is heard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I got a sister, but my sister lives in Texas. I don't know. If That's that okay. Help. What's your sister phone number? Uh, it's uh four six nine. Uh huh. Let me let me four six nine nine fifteen. Uh huh. Thirteen thirty seven. Thirteen thirty seven. What's her first and last name? Uh, Adelaida Blanco is on A D E L A Y D A Adelaida uh -huh. Blanco Blanco on B L A N C O. Got it. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna reach out to your sister, and I'm gonna sit down with RG, and we're gonna be filing for the uh, Department okay. of Justice. I'm just organizing your file. And we're gonna yeah. we're gonna take care of you, brother. Uh, your voice. I got a question for you. Let me ask you this. Um, let me ask you. Uh, did did they did they drop your charges yet, or your charges are still pending for the beating? You say what now? Did they did they uh did they drop? Is your charges uh for the beating still there, or did they drop it? No, they dropped it. They dropped your charges for the correctional officer that beat you up. Yeah, like yeah, like. I was supposed to go to court, and yeah. I just got a, uh, like a notice saying that the, the charges have, have been removed Perfect. from my record. Are you still in yeah. solitary? Are you still in solitary confinement? Yes. Are you still in solitary confinement? Yeah, yeah, I'm still in solitary confinement. Are you being told when they're gonna take you off solitary confinement? Like I say, like, like two, three days ago, it was a sergeant who worked. In classification uh, came, came around and I asked her she told me like no time soon. so so this I'm stuck in here so let me so wait wait what is this where, where, what's the sergeant's name um, RG, can you put me on mute so that way I can hear uh Eric oh yeah 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 oh, thank you man yeah hold on yes, hold thank on you. Yeah. yeah let me let me find out about it because I don't remember her name that's okay but I should be able to I should be able to get it okay what exactly did she tell you she just told me like when I asked her like when I asked her uh that when I was getting uh of TSL and, and solitary confinement she just told me like no time soon okay <laughs> all right so okay well uh, okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it I'm gonna find out what's going on if your charges are dropped why are you still in solitary confinement? So these are the questions that I'm going to be asking. Um, and my other, yeah. my other question will be, uh, we're still going to get the video. <clears throat> we're still asking for the video because we want this correctional officer to be held accountable. Um, yeah. Okay, because you spent, how long did you spend in solitary confinement because of it? Uh, since June, so I got close to, let me see, June. Plus to four months. I'm Almost like four working months. On my fifth month. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we I'm want this correctional. Yeah. So we want this correctional officer accountable, held accountable, because you sat in solitary confinement for four months, 
because he beat you up and he wants you to say that you're at fault for him beating you up. Okay, when he's at fault, the camera is the camera is going to show it. Okay, so we're asking for this camera. Okay. Uh, well, uh, can, can you do me a favor? I don't have my notes in front of me. What was the name of the correctional officer? Uh, gross. Gross. I just know his yep. Yeah. Gross. I got it. I know, I'm very, by the way, I'm very familiar with Gross because I have other inmates that came forward and Gross is, 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 is doing the same thing to them, exactly what he did to you. So I, so I, have, I have recorded statements from other inmates that, that have the same thing they did to you, they did, the Gross did to them. Okay, so I have a recorded statement. So this is going to be used as, as a witness for your case that yeah. Gross is doing this to yeah. inmates. So, um, okay, so I got you, brother. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my dad doesn't try. That's okay. Up, uh, That's okay. Hey, I, I know exactly. I know exactly where he's at. I know exactly how, how what, what he, what, what, how he feels, and it's normal to be scared. I'm gonna be really honest with you. Okay, uh, we're all in the yeah, same boat. And Eric, we're all yeah. in the same boat. We all have loved ones inside that jail facility. We all. My brother is inside. Okay, but there is different ways of going about it. We choose not to be scared. We choose to voice out my brother's voice. We choose to voice out your voice and other inmates that are being abused by correctional officers like Gross. And we know, okay, we know it's only a matter of time before the jail leadership is going to listen to us. And these correctional officers are held accountable. Okay, we have evidence. We have we have we have a camera that's not going anywhere. We're going to get that camera. Okay, we I have yeah, I have recorded the statements. I got you. I've got witnesses. Okay, that I'm going to be going and getting these witnesses for you. Okay, your the the individuals that saw uh, what happened. Okay, there is other uh, inmates that are coming forward, and I have recorded statements that also they they I have a recorded about Gross and other correctional officers that are doing the same thing they do to you. They did it to other inmates. So these these are all evidence. That shows you're innocent, and that's gonna hold these corruption officers accountable. Um, yeah. I was gonna ask you, can you do me a favor during the hearing after yeah. the beating, uh, after they beat you, the corruption officer beating you up? What exactly happened in that hearing? The, the more details you give me, the better. Okay, um, uh, Eric, go ahead, brother. Yeah, uh, you mean like what happened when what? Specifically with that, with the with the hearing. Uh, there is a there. So I'm hearing about an individual that goes in during a hearing with a tape recorder. What are they doing during? What what is the hearing process, and what are they doing during a hearing? Well, during the hearing, they they recording what is going on, and and they just like just because they say they say that I would that I hit uh, the officer back, and then that's assault, and it's all my fault. Even though if I was trying to like, like protect myself or defend myself, and they give me thirty days on DDU, you know what I mean? I I I, I appealed that to the captain, and the captain saying that I didn't obey orders given from the CEO, and that was and that I was approaching the CEO to hit him, which I'm lucky he said that on the grievance because. I can prove that that is false and, and like in the cameras and the footage, you know what I mean? Like I did not try to approach no CEOs or hit them. That's what the types are saying about, about the situation that I didn't obey and that I was approaching maliciously trying to hit them, which like I say, that's that, the camera is in the hallway. And I told him, I told him about it. I told him about it that, that, that they please check the cameras and he will see I wasn't trying to approach nobody on no malicious ways or anything like that. And they just reply, uh, it wasn't him, it was replies on a major. He just say, uh, this case has been uh, reviewing and investigating by uh, Prince William police. And that's it. They never, I haven't heard nothing of, of, of the situation anymore. Um, Eric, during the hearing, during the hearing, how many individuals are involved in a hearing? It was like three sergeants, I believe it was three to four sergeants. I should have their names or they could, you know, they go by code like numbers. So I, I think I got them on, on, on paperwork. Do you have that in front I of you? Them. Huh? Do, do you have that in front of you? Can you tell me their names? No, let me, let me see. I think the all, only I got their, their uh, code number. You That's know perfect. what I mean? They call each other by, by numbers. That's all I need. Mean? 
Yeah, that's all I need. Do yeah, you yeah. have that? Yeah. yeah, I got him. I don't know if you want me to send them, to, like, mail them to no, you. No, if you can just read them off for me. Okay. Uh, Martin, forget to ask him if okay. they took any fix, any pictures of him with their uh, personal phone. RG, thank you for reminding me, ma'am. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I got their signs. I don't got their names. I just got their signs and their code number. That's you know perfect. I mean? That's perfect. Yeah, go ahead. And, the, go ahead. The, the chairman, first sergeant, is 223. Uh huh. Uh, uh, there, there was a sergeant. I can read his name is 222. Okay. And another sergeant named, um, named Cruz, last name Cruz, 303. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, can you do me a favor? Can you tell me the date and time for this incident? Uh, of this hearing? Yes. Of the hearing, let me see. <coughs> they serve. It's the 6 23 like literally two days after what happened okay perfect uh my other question for you is okay so these individuals are conducting a hearing uh did they have a tape recorder in their hand yeah they, they have like before we started the hearing like they they, they uh, the sergeant the chairman was uh, had a tape recorder okay what? and they, they were speaking on it and something like the, every every step that was taken and in the, in, the, in, the, in the process of this issue. Okay, tell me more about how they use that tape recorder for the hearing. You say what now? Uh, tell me more about how they use that tape recorder during the hearing. Like they literally, what they do is like they they record everything that is that is being said in there. Even my, my own, like my own... Uh, uh, how can I say, uh, my own statement, you know what I mean? They, they, but literally what he say, they go by what uh, the officer says, you know what I mean? It's more like, literally more like what they say against whatever I say, you know what I mean? They they believe what they say, literally that's what he, he said on that. And, and it's been proved that because uh, the chairman will keep asking, did he hit uh, the, the officer back? Did he hit the officer back? But the, my witness say, yeah, he did, but in, in self-defense, because they, they attack him first. He, and he, he say, that don't matter. Like, if you hit him, if you hit him, he's guilty of assault. And that's it. You know what I mean? You, you go, if, you, if you get the recorder, you're going you gonna to see I'm how gonna get the recording. Acting. I'm going to make sure yeah, I get the recording. You gonna see how how he was acting with my witnesses. You know what I mean? When I told when I told him that and who was it, and they called him, and and they they were uh, recording that too. So yeah. So you your witnesses, your witnesses were there during the hearing. No, they called him like he. They were on the on the hall in the unit uh, eleven. No, hold on, unit six, 16, I believe it was. Let me see. I got the I got the paperwork in here. Location. No, I was in unit unit thirteen when this happened, and then I was moved to deeper. You know what I mean? And from there, they call they they use a phone call and call unit thirteen where my witnesses was, and they put them on the phone. So they record the phone call. Let me ask you a question. Was this tape recorder ever turned off during the hearing when they were asking no, you never. questions? No, I made sure of that too because I like I I was like you know I mean just in case something happened like you know I mean later on I made sure like I seen like what what time they turn it off what time they turn it on 
you know what I mean? So my question to you is, they they are recorded with the okay. So look, this is this is my question for you. That tape recorder, did they turn it off when okay when they were asking you questions about what happened? Did they say did they coer did they use that tape recorder to coerce you? Did they use that tape recorder to not take your statement? Did they use that tape recorder to not record your witnesses? Uh, did they tell you to? Um, um, did did they use that tape recorder in any way where? They're saying something, they turn it off, they say something, or when you want to say something, they turn it off, and then they turn it back on. Did this, does anything like this happen during your hearing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was at one point where where uh, the chairman say uh, off the record, which mean you know what I mean? Like they he turned it, uh, the um, tape recorded off, and it was something like, oh, if I plead guilty, he's just going to give me like 15 days on, on the EDU or 20 max. You know what I mean? I said, no, I don't, I don't want to plead guilty in this situation because I'm not guilty. You know what I mean? So you're telling so, me that he turned off the tape recorder and he yeah. told you that if you plead guilty, we're going to give yeah. you 15 days and instead of what? Yeah, because yeah, I, I got another write up in the same time when they search my stuff. They say they found a, a paraphernalia or stuff to do tattoos, right? And still, like, I, I have my with my same, the same witnesses and everything. And he told me, look, look, if you plead guilty on this, he told me off the record, of course. And he said, look, if you plead guilty on this, I'm just going to give you 10 days. If you don't, then I'm gonna find you guilty, and I'm gonna give you the max. So I, <laughs> on that, on that situation, I say, okay, you know what I mean? F it. I play guilty now. And then he was trying to do the same thing with this case, but I, I wasn't going for it. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't guilty in this situation. You know what I mean? And and yeah, it happened. What happened? He gave me the max time. Amar, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. yes, do Do you think that we need? Do you think that we are going to need a power of attorney on behalf of Eric so we can request the videos to us to get the videos to us? Uh, we probably do, but I'm gonna reach out to his sister. Um, okay. And if that's the case, I mean, getting a power of attorney is is easy. It's not a big problem. Uh, it's easy. Uh, uh, no, just just uh. So, Eric, a power of attorney is for someone to speak on your behalf. So, what they do, they they they're playing this game that uh, they know that a lot of inmates don't have families on the outside. They know that a lot of inmates don't speak the language. They know that a lot of inmates don't know the legal system. They don't. They know that there is a lot of inmates that don't have the money to go and get justice after they beat them up. Uh, so what we're basically right now, um, what, what RG was asking, power of attorney is someone to speak on your behalf, to speak on your name. So when I ask for the video, when I ask for the tape recorder, when I ask why did this person do this to Eric, that's, that's a power of attorney. Uh, but I'm going to talk to your sister and, and, and if we have to get the power of attorney, it's easy. It's like you do it in one day, you know, it's not, it's not like something like anything. Um, yeah, okay. but, but what you just said about the tape recorder, this is a big problem. Uh, because uh, they're doing it to other inmates. They're using coercion. The sergeant would go in and use coercion to coerce uh, these inmates. To they turn off the tape recorder, turn it on, turn it off. Uh, let me let me ask you a question. Uh, your your witnesses was this happened to them? Do you know if this happened to them with the tape recorder? What do you mean? Uh, did they did they turn off the tape? Do you know if they turn off the tape recorder? I uh, I really didn't. I didn't notice if they did or not because okay. the dude was was holding a phone yeah. and he had the tape recorder right close to the phone. Okay, let me ask you this, uh, Eric. Was this uh, 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 was this sergeant with the tape recorder? Was it a short Indian guy? You say why now? That that sergeant that was conducting the hearing that was holding the tape recorder uh, was he a short Indian guy? Yep, exactly. That's him. That's him. Yep. Do you know his name by a chance? No. Okay. I mean, they had a sign in here, but I can't, I don't understand what he's what he mean. It just say first sergeant, such and such, and it has his code, which is two two three. Okay, um, Eric, I promise you that your voice is going to be heard, and justice will be served. Uh, these correctional officers are going to be held accountable by the Department of Justice. It's only a matter of time 
for uh we're gonna we're gonna file with the department of justice so that way they see what they're doing to you um and those yeah. correctional officers their name keep coming up uh other inmates they're doing the same thing to them um so yeah. uh, captain powell yeah. dropped your charges um yesterday um he also dropped uh jason uh uh castro's charges and he took him off solitary confinement and uh put him back into oh yeah so congratulations brother but i want to tell you i want to tell you i want to tell you the fight is not over uh they think they're smart they they're playing a game they are insulting our intelligence and instead of just dropping the charge and instead of just releasing him off of solitary confinement what we want is we want those correctional officers accountable you said in yeah. solitary confinement since june um eric sat in solitary confinement uh for nine months my brother mustafa al jazari has been sitting in solitary confinement since for six months we want those correctional officers accountable we want we want captain powell to come out with the video that that yeah. shows that correctional officer is at fault is the one that 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 beat you up we want him and yeah. instead of and instead of and instead of they, and they're doing this because we're protesting because the, the community hears your voice on the outside because they know that we're filing with the department of justice it's only a matter of time whether captain powell likes it or not whether sergeant hill likes it or not these correctional are going to be held accountable i have recorded voice statements from from multiple inmates that are saying the same exact thing and i'm going to be getting the videos and i'm going to be getting that recorder and that short Indian sergeant is going to be held accountable by the Department of Justice for using coercion go, to turn off that tape on, recorder. You, yes, sir. You're going to notice, like, the way he was treating my, my witnesses. Okay. You're going to see, like, the, okay. the dude is a little crazy. It's okay. Uh, we're going to get that recorder. And we ask on Captain Powell, and instead of insulting our intelligence, okay, and just, and instead of just really, okay, if dropping the charge is a big deal removing him off solitary confinement is a big deal thank you for doing that but that's not what we're looking for we're looking for justice yeah. for you for jason castro for my brother jason uh, mustafa al jazari for the other inmates that i'm talking to by giving us the videos and holding those correctional officers ac accountable what's to say when he dropped the charge and he released you off solitary confinement uh correctional officer gross is going to come up to you and do the same thing to you again what he expects us to stop protesting he expects us to go away and thank him for doing his job uh captain powell has has the videos since he has access to the videos for the whole entire time he has access to the videos he knows about that sarge, short indian sergeant that's uh, that's playing around with the recorder and using coercion but instead instead he doesn't he looks the other way now that we're protesting now that we're saying that we're going to go to the department of justice now that i have my number circulate within that jail cell and inmates are coming forward and asking for justice now he wants to remove you drop your charge remove you out of solitary confinement he thinks we're stupid he thinks that this is gonna we're gonna thank him for doing this is his job to do the right thing it's his job to make sure that you are safe that the correctional officers on his watch doesn't abuse you the correctional officer that when he does abuse you he watched the camera and then he holds him accountable he knows about the camera he watched the camera he he knows about his sergeant turning off the recorder and coercing inmates or to say that they're guilty he knows but he chooses to look the other way now that we're protesting yeah. now that we're protesting he wants to remove you off of solitary confinement he wants to drop the charge no hold your correctional officer accountable so this doesn't happen to you again what we're supposed to go away stop protesting and then when we go away the correctional officer is going to go back and do it to you again no we want him held yeah. accountable so that way the other correctional officer see an example so that way they don't do it to you again and other inmates okay so yeah, yeah. hang in there brother we're here for you so, so okay.